looking for you. I have cash. And we're your hosts for today. This podcast, by being honest, we mean expressing our genuine thoughts and opinions about a certain topic without a script made in advance. That's right. Our podcast today offers an avenue for people to share their ideas and viewpoints pertaining to the 10th SDG, Reduced Inequalities. So, what are we going to discuss today, Cash? Today, we're discussing a prevalent topic in our society, nepotism. And we have guests joining us here today to talk about it. Yes, we have Miguel Evasco, Kristen Balbino, Eugene Prasores, and Lucas Soya. This is from Ateneo de Davao University Senior High School to be real with us. So, how are you guys doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. Thank you for inviting us. How about you, Lily? How are you doing today? Thank you for asking, Cash. I'm doing just great. Glad to have you all with us here today. So now, let's be real about nepotism. nepotism. So, what is nepotism? I hear it all the time, but I'm not really sure what does it mean. Me too. I I just hear people throwing the words nepotism or nepo babies around, but yeah, I'm also not sure what it actually means. So, can anyone enlighten us? Well, nepotism is basically a practice wherein those with power or influence grant an advantage, a privilege, or a position to people they know, like their relatives or close friends, in an occupation or field. Nepotism can often be observed in business, politics, academia, entertainment, sports, religion, and other fields as well. Nepotism can lead to a lack of diversity and fairness in the workplace, as well as a decrease in overall productivity and morale. It can also create a perception of favoritism and undermine an organization's credibility. This practice can also lead to reduced opportunities for those who are not connected to anyone with power. So I think that it's really important that companies or organizations have policies in place to prevent this type of thing to occur and ensure equal opportunities for all employees because in line with one of our lessons in Christian morality, we are all created equal and we should be treated the same way. Thank you for that insight, Kristen. Now, you said something about nepotism existing in various fields of our society. Can someone elaborate on this? Yes, I can. Uh, nepotism can be found most typically in workplaces. As Kirsten mentioned, nepotism is a practice wherein those with power or influence grant an advantage, privilege, and and or power or and or position to close friends and relatives. Although it is not illegal, it can lead to injustices among the workplace due to higher ups preferring family and close friends rather than those who are qualified for the job. Uh, it is simply not fair that someone who is fit for the job and most likely has the experience gets denied of the position because of someone who was preferred by the higher up to be appointed for that position, job, or that privilege. And so, if you think about it, they were they were just really just simply given the position or job because they're of their connection and family ties. They don't really have the experience. They don't have the uh, the right knowledge to to have in that position, job, or for that privilege. And it's hard, especially for workers and the company itself, because experience in a certain field is critical for a company to grow. And a simple solution would be separating your work life and family life. Because in the first place, your work life and family life should be separate. They should, they do not come together. They, sh- they really shouldn't. And it's easier said than done, but it ultimately is the best solution out there. Well, there is another one, and it is to train that preferred family member or close friend. Because for the one who appointed the family member close friend, it is their responsibility to train that in order for them to have an influence, uh, for them to have something to help with the company, 
Yeah, you get my point, right? Yeah. Yes. So, most large companies do this when appointing their children or child CEO or president of the company. Because simply the, the trust they have for family and close friends is different when you have when you have a different different person appointed for running the company, right? So I get that point in nepotism. But nepotism can be good in a in a point. But after, but more than that, when it's abusive, yeah, that it can be very bad for the company and the workplace. And so that is my take on nepotism on workplaces. The most critical environment to have nepotism. Yeah, that's really enlightening. But um, nepotism can be really harmful in the workplace, right? Because this can decrease productivity since usually these people who are appointed to like such roles as leader or CEO have little to no experience on that area. I do agree in the point where they appoint their children because you can't trust a random person to run your company. It's also because that Imagine your company is well known and stuff, and that person you appointed, a random person, just ruins everything, and all the hard work and values of the company has changed. You also shouldn't forget how nepotism is rampant in the entertainment industry. Nepotism in the entertainment industry refers to the practice of giving preferential treatments, such as jobs, roles, or other opportunities, to family members or friends, rather than based on their talent skills, and qualifications. This is a common practice in many industries, including the entertainment industry. There have been numerous instances of nepotism in the entertainment industry, where people with connection or family ties to establish actors or producers have been given roles or opportunities that they may not have earned solely based on their talent or qualifications. For example, a famous actor's child may be given a leading role in a movie without having to go to audition or a, or a rigorous selection process. This can be frustrating for aspiring actors, writers, and other professionals who work hard to break the, into the industry and may feel that they are being overlooked in favor of those with family connections. Additionally, it can perpetuate a culture of privilege and entitlement that is seen as unfair and undermines the integrity of the industry. For example, the Kardashian family in the reality TV show Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which followed the lives of Kim Kardashian I'm gonna cry, my God, when he <laughs> and her sister's Courtney. version of 90 anyways is just unacceptable. And Chloe Die with a good Snapchat. And their mother, Kris Jenner. Many members of the family have used their fame to launch successful businesses and careers in fashion, beauty, and other industries. The issue of nepotism in the entertainment industry has been a topic of debate for a long time. And there are ongoing discussions about how to address it. Some people argue that greater transparency in the hiring process, as well as stricter regulations, could help reduce the impact of nepotism. Ultimately, it is up to individuals and organizations in the entertainment industry to decide whether or not they want to take steps to address this issue. Another good example would be the Karate Kid movie, right? uh, wherein Jaden is the son of Will Smith, and it would cross our minds that maybe Jaden used his father's fame and name to be put in that movie. And so, uh, we cannot overlook the fact that there may be better options, better actors for the movie. But the movie itself was great. I personally liked the movie. Uh, the story was great. Jaden's acting was also good. But I think there would be other options that would be better for the movie. But I don't know because already happened right yeah. so uh that is my my take and a very good example of how nepotism can be run by the, the entertainment industry yes i've seen a lot of his performances and 
actually he's not a bad actor it's just that there are other um, there are other child actors that uh, could have played the role better but unfortunately they didn't have the connections to play for that role to add to that people don't really talk about nepotism in schools usually when you say nepotism the first thing that goes into a person's mind is what was already mentioned by my peers and i think we need to talk about the existence of nepotism in schools more in plain sight schools are very enthusiastic and can be a place for improving oneself but in the inner and darkest parts of this curriculum there are many students who are affected and abused nepotism to boost their grades and gain exposure in the school also in this kind of environment where a lot of competition is circling around this can be a compelling start of nepotism nepotism exists even in schools because of the students who have the backgrounds or the capacity to gain the favor of their teachers for example a student with good grades good skills in sports and have a good leadership is being overshadowed by a student who have a bad grade and doesn't care for his future because of this the student who has a bad grade is being a star in any different events in school because of his father has a lot of connection in the outside world and to this this is so unfair to each one of the students that is academically inclined and have the skills that to grow and help our society in addition the coach favors his son to play even though the son is not gifted with the talent within that sport this leads to the rising stars being overshadowed by a few minutes in their career and eventually losing their interest and love for the sport. In this kind of situation, there are a lot of athletes that are already good enough and have the capacity to grow, to grow outside of their shell and have the future ahead of them. Because of these coaches, those players, those athletes are being overshadowed by this, this part of the institution. And also, this kind of treatment is very unfair to the students who are not academically inclined and needs the help of teachers. On occasion, teachers really favor the students who is excelling and gives them full support and guidance. With this kind of mindset, a lot of students are failing and wasting their talents because it is not being cultivated properly. This stuff is very alarming because those students who are ready and have the capability to excel are being overshadowed by the favoritism of the administration and the capability of their parents in the outside world. Schools are built to cultivate and help them grow into what they want. Schools are built to strengthen the next generation and give them their full support in improving their skills. We need to open our eyes to this kind of problem because the hope of the next generation is being washed away. This will become a hindrance to our society and will be a great problem for the growth of our country. So for all of us, we need to take care of our young people who are growing and give them the support that they need. I hope that this podcast can send a message to every one of us that nepotism is really unproductive when we are cultivating the next generation. Wow, this is such an eye-opener. Yeah, exactly. Um, by those insights, I realized how it really affects us all, even though it's not that much noticeable. It also makes me think differently as well. Because, you know, um, we thought about nepotism are, you know, a good thing for those who are considered uh, nepo babies and sometimes uh, let me ask you this it can be a disadvantage right yes we can say that all nepo babies are getting it's just entirely advantageous right because being born into this kind of situation and stuff is not that easy to handle true many people are constantly pressured to follow their parents footsteps when it comes to business they they even expect them to surpass them. And some in the entertainment industry are belittled, judged, and stereotyped because of their parentage. Many Nepo babies have to work twice as much to prove that they deserve what they are because many people like them use their influence to get what they want. Um, for example, we have Miley Cyrus, right? Everyone knows Miley Cyrus. Um, yes, she had a jump start to her career because of who her dad was. But we can clearly see that she is an iconic and talented artist. However, other people, and I'm not gonna name names, but they use their input of their backgrounds in order to get what they want, which is unjust for those who are genuinely talented but have no means to reach their dreams. Yeah, those are really great insights. And like, 
I learned so much about the day about nepotism more deeply in specific areas in our society such as in workplaces, entertainment industry, even in schools, which I didn't really notice that much. But it's really um, active in our schools and it's really hard in the entertainment industry, examples such as Lily Rose Depp where she walks in fashion shows and like models, other models could, couldn't even eat or sleep or like do things that they want because they're packed with their schedules and then they have the audacity to pick a show that they want to walk and to um, model into and it's really unfair to those who work really hard into reaching their dreams and yeah I think it's unfair. Yes, I agree. In plan with being a Christian, Catholic, Muslim or any other religious community, we are called to work towards reducing inequalities and promoting justice in the world. This involves taking concrete steps to address the root causes of inequality, which is nepotism, and also advocating for fair and transparent practices in all areas of life. And also, those people who are watching this today, always remember that we are all fundamentally equal and that we must treat each other with fairness and justice. And so that we can work to create our way to reduce inequalities. Uh, that is it for the first episode, guys. Um, thank you so much for taking your time off from your busy schedule just to attend this video podcast. So before we officially end, um, we do this thing where we take a video photo with our guests. Sure, let's do it. Uh, Thank you guys, we truly appreciate it. No problem. No problem.